Hello, what's going on? Welcome back to the channel. I'm James and today on this gloriously rainy and grey day in the United Kingdom, I'm sat inside avoiding the weather and thought, it's finally time to do a Mavs video and I'm hyped for this one. Why am I so hyped for this video? Because I've been drooling over this team's historically great offence all season long and they are of course led by one of my favourite players in the entire league right now, this kid. This Slovenian kid right here, who I truly believe is potentially the next generational superstar of the NBA. He is incredible. So incredible that he had a 30-year-old man, a 30-year-old veteran in the playoffs, so afraid of him, so scared of him, that he tried to deliberately injure him, which honestly I've got no time for, but I think that shows how incredible this kid is. And that is not all. They also have this giant 7'3 Latvian man who honestly possesses a unicorn utopia of offensive talents. Yes, I just casually use the word unicorn utopia because he's a unicorn and has a cornucopia of offensive gifts. Cringy, maybe, puns, words, I don't know, let's move on. My point is, this team is in a very good position and they have two foundational young pieces to build around. However, I don't think they need to be surrounding these guys with other young pieces and build towards some grand future. Luca is so good, Kristaps is a great second or third option. They should be looking to win now. I think they should be going all in for a third star to put with these guys, or at least bringing in some solid defensive-minded veterans. Obviously, this team's defense has not been good. They do seem to lack some veteran leadership and some dog. Ironically, Marcus Morris would probably be a kind of fit that I'm talking about, but they definitely need defense. They definitely could use some more star power. And I think they should be doing all in their power to go all in and make that happen. And that is what I'm here to do today. Much like a lot of my latest videos, it's going to be a one off season rebuilding challenge, five realistic trades maximum, one off season, one season, and we are trying to win the championship in 2021. That's it. It's time to make this happen. Let's jump into it. What on earth is going on? It's the world ending. What is what is this? Oh my god. Oh stop, please. My gosh. Oh my god, I might need to go have words. Okay, so we're here in the 2020 off season and we are at the NBA draft with the 22nd pick. Obviously I'm in win now mode, so I could develop talent at the 22nd pick, but honestly, I think it makes a lot more sense to trade that pick and try and upgrade the roster right now. So I'm thinking there's definitely gonna be some trades before free agency. Also, we've got some cap to dump. So I think Tim Hardaway Jr., I'd rather clear the cap so I can go after someone more defensive minded in free agency, you know, a Fred Van Vliet, a Victor Oladipo, something like that. Then we've got guys like Dwight Powell, DeLon Wright, Maxi Kleber, they're all getting paid quite a bag. Justin Jack as well so definitely a lot of trading that's going to be taking place I think some of it before free agency as well then we've also got guys like Jalen Brunson nice young piece but if I can capitalize on his trade value as a young piece and get a veteran for him definitely an option that we could consider same with Justin Jackson he's only 26 years old so people might still be interested in his potential so yeah a lot of moves to make basically we've got a lot of moves to make the first thing we're going to do is obviously package this pick in some sort of trade and maybe shed some caps so let's see what we can find so yeah right off the bat I'm liking this trade it doesn't let us shed as much cap as I'd maybe want, but we do shed about 13 mil. We get Capella back and this team needs defense. This team needs a defensive anchor. So I think I am going to do this. From the Hawks perspective, Capella doesn't bring a lot of spacing, so maybe they could go in a different direction at center. They have the sixth pick actually, and they could probably get Oyeka or Kongwu with that. Then they get Tim Hardaway Jr. and Dwight Powell, some veterans to kind of help this team make the playoffs now and a bit of draft capital. I'm not going to ask for a first round pick back as well, because that would be excessive. But I think just for Clint Capella, this makes sense. I'll probably throw in another second as well, actually. And uh, yeah, we'll see if that goes through. Bang. All right. And we also didn't even need to give up the 22nd pick. So now I'll probably look for one more trade before free agency to dump some more cap and incentivize the cap dump with the pick. Okay, so I found a nice cheap player on the Spurs in Derek White. I think him and DeJounte Murray, maybe they're taking a few of each other's minutes so they might want to go in a different direction. I think Maxi Kleber is a very Spurs-like player, can stretch the floor, solid big. DeLon Wright could kind of replace Derek White as a bench piece and they get a pick in this year's draft, which means if they're going to enter a rebuild now, you know, if they go down that option, if Pop retires, maybe a first round pick right now is going to be good for them and a young piece in just in Jackson and because I'm giving up quite a lot I have asked for at least a lottery protected future future first so it's kind of like a pick swap where they get a pick now and we get one in future and a couple seconds we'll see if this goes through that would help us clear up a lot of cap and get a rotational piece back so uh yeah let's pull the trigger see what happens no okay what if I take out the seconds is that gonna work 
Yeah, okay, that's fine. That's absolutely fine. Maybe I overpaid a little bit, but I think we're looking in a pretty good place cap-wise. Let's hop into free agency and see what's available. Okay, so in free agency, right off the bat, I'm thinking, um, actually, Ola Depot's contract is messed up on this roster. He should be a free agent next year, but on this roster, he's a free agent this year. So he might be someone that we go after. Obviously, AD is not very realistic, even though he is here, so I won't go for him. Van Vliet as well, defense. That is going to be a perfect sort of a point of attack defender. So definitely think that Van Vliet, yeah, he's got no good offers. So we'll throw him a bag, and I'm going to lowball him a ton. Like, see if I can get him really, really cheap. 80, 86, he's, he's going to... Wow, okay. He, take, he took the offer. That's kind of interesting. And yeah, Victor Oladipo as well. I think we've got to throw him a bag as well. He's a really good piece next to Luka. He's going to play defense. Hopefully, he can get back to superstar status. But he has re received a big bag from the Pacers. So, he's going to be a bit pricier. What did he get again? So, he got... Four years 101, our offer is currently worth four years 106. So, do you know what? I'll give him the bag, why not? We'll see what happens, we'll see what happens. All right, uh, yeah, I think those two are the animals I wanna go for for now, so let's see if we get them. We do get both of them. I don't think we can afford both of them, sadly. So obviously of the two, I've gotta make a choice. And I feel like I get Fred Van Vliet all the time. So maybe he's the one that we lose out on for now. Yeah, he's a better player than Oladipo, but I think in terms of realism, the Mavs are more likely to pursue Oladipo. So uh, yeah, we'll bring in Victor. We'll bring in Victor. I like that. I like that. Okay, so looking at the roster right now, we've got Jalen Brunson, and then either White or Curry can play back at point guard. Doncic will probably move to the three. I mean, it doesn't really matter where Doncic plays. I guess defensively, he'll struggle at the three, but that's fine. We'll probably have Oladipo and White run the twos. Curry and Brunson and Doncic. We'll get a backup for Doncic. Maybe Finney Smith. Maybe we'll move him. Actually, let's check Van Vliet. How far off are we? Yeah, 11 million. I could trade like Seth Curry, Justin Jack. I could trade guys, but I, I kind of want to save three trades for when we're through free agency. So I don't think I'm going to dump any more cap. I'll probably stick to who I can actually afford. I did joke about Marcus Morris and his sort of doggish nature being a good fit for this team. He can shoot the rock. I can probably make a trade to upgrade my starting point guard anyway. So I think I might make a move for Morris. I can't quite afford him technically, but uh, I reckon if I offered him... Oh, he's not going to accept that, is he? He might, actually. Let's, let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. I'll take him as my sort of, like, semi-mid-level guy. Actually, he's not even my mid-level guy. Okay, he went back to the Clippers. That's fine. Maybe it's going to have to be Dragic. Maybe it's Dragic. I'll bring him in. Whether we'll keep him or not, I'm not sure. But he's getting offered one year and nine mil. So that's not exactly ideal at all. I reckon I can beat that. One year, 11 mil. Let's see what... Or two years, 11 mil. Boom. Goran, let's go. That's a great pickup. That's a great pickup. We've got too many guards, but that is a great pickup. Now let's see if we've got a mid-level still. Perfect. I'll pick up Korkmaz on the mid-level as well. Probably keep him on that kind of salary so we can package it in a trade. Man, this roster's already looking very deep. So we need to use these final three trades wisely to kind of trim things down and kind of upgrade as much as possible. But I'm liking where we're at. Do you know what? JJ, come back. We love you. We love you in Dallas. Never retire. Never retire. All right, let's go to training camps. Oof, Luca at a cool 96 overall. You love to see it. Okay, training camps. So we have three of them. I think uh, untapped potential-wise, I'll probably only send Brunson. He's about the only young guy that we have on the roster. I mean, Doncic is already so good. Does it really matter? You know what I mean? Maybe Porzingis, actually. He's 26. I think he's already got an A-plus potential. But do you know what? I'll untap Porzingis just in case. Let's see what happens. He's already an A-plus. Never mind. All right, untap potential on uh, Brunson as well. And then perimeter shooting to Doncic. I wanted to work on that three-pointer. He's already an 83 in the game. I don't think he's an 83 in real life. He's kind of average from three. But that should help him out anyway. All right, let's get to the season. Let's get to the season. Okay, so here's the rosters of right now. We've got three trades left to make. We've got Brunson, Oladipo, Doncic, Porzingis, and Capella. Really happy with these four. Definitely want to upgrade my starting point guard position. Then off the bench right now, I mean, it's just all guards. We've got Willie Cauley Stein, so we need to upgrade that. And then we've got loads of guards. Dragic regressed a lot, and he's not even in the rotation right now so yeah tons of trade pieces we've got these two that can be in trades we've got yeah we've got a lot going on so we need to completely overhaul this bench right now honestly like these two are kind of duplicated so even Seth Curry I'm not sure how much I want him at this point Derek White I traded for so I should probably keep so yeah we got a lot of work to do on this bench and starting point guard so uh yeah let's look at that let's look at that let's see what we can do okay so this team needs defense I'm looking at Lonzo Ball I think the Pelicans are wanting to shift into win now mode so getting a veteran point guard like Dragic back with a guy like Jay and Brunson that they can still develop to potentially be similar or better than Lonzo. I doubt he'll ever be better than Lonzo, but you know, he could come close. Plus some more draft capital, plus a second round pick. Maybe we're underpaying a little bit. You know, I could chuck maybe one more second in or something like that. We'll see if this goes through anyway, because this would be an amazing fit. And we get Lonzo. That is fantastic. All right, so now Lonzo can be our starting point guard. Oladipo, Doncic. Yeah, this is going to look real, real good. Let's get the rotation sorted and see where we're at. Okay, so here's the squad. Lonzo Ball, Oladipo, Doncic, Porzingis, Capella. It's a great starting five. I honestly worry maybe we've gone too heavy on defense and now don't have enough offense. So maybe that's a mistake on my part. We'll see. The bench is a bit of a mess. I think Derek White's the only guy here I for sure want. So the final two trades is definitely going to be something to do with that. We're going to need offense off the bench. Just scoring and offense. So uh, yeah, I think that's 
that's going to be the plan. Let's see what we can figure out. Oh, I just had a brainwave. I just had a brainwave. Let's find this guy. I think he could be perfect, actually. Maybe even as a starter, honestly. Let's have a look. So TJ Warren might be the dude. Let's let's try and build a trade for TJ Warren. I think he'll give us the scoring that we need. We're going to have to put a lot of it, lot into this. So Seth Curry, let's see. Would the Indiana Pacers want him? Yeah, they've just traded all the depot. So Seth Curry could make sense with some more offense. Who else might they like? Cork Maz, young piece. So this would be if they're wanting to rebuild. Obviously, they've got rid of all the depot. So maybe they're going full rebuild. Obviously, they're going to want draft capital. So 100% next year's first would have to be involved as well. They're going to want a bit of a bag for this guy. Who else have we really got to offer? Finney Smith's talented. Mm, that's not going to work. We may have to go for another another first, honestly. Kind of, yeah, we're kind of mortgaging our whole future at this point, but let's do it. Two firsts and two pieces for TJ Warren. I'm going to do that. That's perfect. Bang. All right, this team's looking fantastic. He's probably going to start, actually. He's probably going to start. I might move Oladipo to the bench for some defense. Yeah, let's get this rotation together and see what we want to do with this final trade. All right, so with one trade left, we've got Lonzo Ball, Luka Doncic, TJ Warren, Kristaps Porzingis, and Capella. That's looking awesome. Then we've got Oladipo as a sick man, some defense off the bench. Derek White. So they kind of have similar roles. I've actually made Oladipo a shooting guard slash small forward. So, you know, he's he's small, but he's a good enough defender that I think he could guard some threes. So we've gone point guard, shooting guard, shooting guard, small forward. Finney Smith playing the forward. Corley Stein playing the center. So we've got one trade left. And I think basically we're going to want to upgrade one of these two guys, either Finney Smith or Corley Stein, one of the double barrel boys. See if we can get them any better. So yeah, final trade. I think it has to involve these guys. I think Corley Stein could bring some rebounding. So maybe I'll look to upgrade Finney Smith. We'll just see who we get the best offer for, really. Okay, looks like we're getting better offers for Corley Stein. Thomas Bryant's a really interesting backup center idea. I like that. Oh, Derek Favors. So it's either spacing and no defense. Let's have a look at his stats. I feel like he's an awful defender. Yeah, he can really stretch the floor, which is kind of nice. Post defense C, rebounding B plus. I don't know about that though. Favors, he can't, he's not the best shooter in the world, but post defense A plus rebound. Rebounding. I think that's more what we need from a backup piece. So I'm going to grab Derek Favors and we're bringing Yanis' brother in here. So yeah, that's kind of awesome. All right. I think we're looking pretty good. Let's get into the rotation, see how it looks. Okay. Five trades made. We're officially here. And this is why I was so hyped to do this video. I mean, look at this squad. I'm loving this. Lonzo Ball and Doncic. The amount of playmaking in that backcourt is absolutely insane. They'll probably both average over nine assists per game knowing them. Lonzo Ball is going to push the ball up the floor and play some defense. He doesn't need too many shots. The ball can still be in Doncic's hands. He can still be effective off ball in the half core basically run the transition so that is amazing tj warren incredible offensive player that we just needed some extra scoring basically Pozingis is going to do what he does put up some big numbers hopefully capella does the defensive anchor this team's really balanced offense defense rebounding playmaking it's got it all and i'm loving it so in terms of the system rick carlisle's balance system was kind of preferred and i think given how balanced this team actually is on paper that makes a lot of sense nothing higher than four stars anyway then looking at our coach game plan here yeah, Luka Doncic, Chris Atspozingis, TJ Warren as the scoring options. Haven't really changed any of this stuff. I could go play through star, but I'll start with neutral. We'll see how we go. That's basically it. If this team isn't a 60 plus win team, I don't know what is. So let's get to the end of the season. My official prediction is 62 and 20. Let's see what happens. Okay, 2K told me I didn't have enough players on my roster. So uh, let's see who we can bring in. Let's see who we can bring Oh, JR Smith, my guy. He likes to win championships while sitting on the bench doing nothing. We'll, we'll, we'll bring him in, we'll bring him in. Side note, JR Smith was the highest I've ever seen a human being. And I'm talking Anthony Davis getting tacos, but a level above that, maybe two levels above that after the Lakers won that championship game. He must have pre-gamed so hard before that game knowing he wasn't going to play because he is legit on that bus not even back to the hotel yet and he is on mars bro it was it's hilarious it was in javel mcgee's vlog i'll probably stick it on screen somewhere oh man i love it when a good thing goes right this is awesome 67 and 15 i actually underestimated this team my guy luka Doncic wins mvp i have an update required message that i need to leave this screen to get rid of so we can't see his stats i know he averaged 28 points per game so uh yeah it's looking pretty good lamello ball winning rookie of the year six man to bowl bowl of course defensive player yanis and darius Bay he seems to win most improved a lot. Interesting, interesting. All right, let's hop into these teams as well. Luka Doncic first team, as we expected. Did anyone else make it? That is the question. Hopefully, Chris Stapps snuck on. Did he? Nah, 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 nothing for Chris Stapps. So we are first in the conference. We have Phoenix in round one. Let's have a look at the player, uh, the season stats, I should say. Luka, what did you actually average? Like, okay, that's still pretty solid numbers. 28, basically 10 and 10, almost a triple double. And that is with a lot of talent on his team. So that is honestly absolutely ridiculous. KP, that is fantastic. Well, ah! fantastic's a stretch actually 21 and 10 two blocks i love all of that i'm not a huge fan of 44 percent from the field but hopefully that's because he shot a ton of threes 37 from downtown he did put up eight threes per game yeah, I'll let that slide. He's making three threes a game. I'd like to see him be a bit more efficient, but that's fine. TJ Warren was fantastic. 18 points is a third option at 52% from the field and super efficient from downtown, I assume. 40%, that's absolutely fine. And then Lonzo Ball. Oh my gosh. 
I never see him average over like 11 points per game on a good uh, on a weaker team, let alone 14 on a good team. That is the best Lonzo stat line I've ever seen in 2K. I bumped his tendencies up a little bit, but not very high because I wanted it to be semi-realistic. I think he has like a 67 shot tendency and I opted it from like a 50 something. So clearly that helped, 1.5 steals as well. And he shot 47% from downtown. That is insane. Victor Oladipo, yeah, 13 points a night. But he probably played some great defense, 1.2 steals. You know, he's a role player on this team. It's an elite team, that's fine. 12 and 13 for Capella, two blocks per game. He's always good in 2K. I really like Capella in 2K. Derek Wyatt doing his job. Derek Favors, 57% from the field, six rebounds. I rate that. And Dorian Finney-Smith. Even JR Swish getting out there. Oh my God, they probably chucked him out there while he was stoned as hell and he just swished one shot in one game. That's hilarious. All right, let's take a look at the team stats as well because obviously we know we're going to be the best offense, I assume. Yep. And then defensively, did I improve the defense? Let's have a look. Second best in the league. That is exactly what I wanted. Those are the main changes I wanted to make. And if you look at our differential, that has elevated us. Again, that, that is what this team needs. It needs defense. I added some firepower as well, but if the team can at least get better defensively this off season, that is a great place to start. All right, first round, we've got the Suns. What kind of upgrades have they made to their team? Lamelo, oh, that's also, that's a perfect fit. Lamelo, Devin, Kelly Oubre, Melo. Uh, yeah, Melo's their starting four. I'm not too worried of anyone who's starting Carmelo Anthony as their starting four. Let's get him out of the way. Of course, a bit of drama. Come on. Don't make me sweat. Don't make me, I'm actually already sweating because that fucking central heating's on, to be fair. 4-1, uh, let's go. All right, seven game series over here. We've got the Clippers. This is definitely going to be a challenging series. So, God, this is not a good matchup for us. This re if, if they've still kept their guys anyway, and they've still kept both of their guys. C minus perimeter defense. C minus. <sighs> Kawhi, Paul George. I mean, they'd eat him alive. I'm thinking this. I'm thinking Warren is a scoring sixth man. Ola Depot at 30 a night. That may have to be the move. Paul George, Paul George. Probably want Lonzo Ball on Paul George, even though he's undersized. Well, we'll just put Doncic on Beverly, I think, just to make, you know, give Doncic something to do. And then Kawhi Leonard, yeah, that's where we need Victor Ola Depot. I mean, I know he's too short to guard Kawhi Leonard, but at least he's a great perimeter defender. We're gonna try this, we're gonna try this. This is a bold coaching decision. Yeah, Ola Depot at the two, Doncic at the three, Lonzo at the... All right, let's see if this works. I, I, I respect this Clippers team and I want to do the best I can. Oh no, don't, come on. Let's go, let's go, let's go, yes. Yes. Bang. Okay, perfect, perfect, perfect. And Memphis does not have the same wing depth, so let's change back to what we were doing before. Yeah, that's fine. All right, perfect. Let's jump into this. Woo, conference finals time. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Come on. Sweep them. Sweep them. Okay, everyone gets a game. Everyone gets a game. There we go. Finals. Now, I'm a little bit worried because I think we lost like both of the games we played against Boston in the regular season. Boston are overpowered in 2K this year. Let's just hope for the best. Let's see what happens. 1-0, 2-0, Come on, don't miss around. Let's go. Ah, how we lost three in a row. No. Oh, that's wild. All right, all right, all right. All right, it's time to go big. Finney Smith, take another few minutes off him. Porzingis is getting 40. Favors, Capella's gonna get 38. Wow, who else? Derek White, let's take a few more off of him and we'll get Doncic at 42. Oh, that's, that's all we can do, that's all we can do. All right, simulate with Simcast. Let's see if we can stay alive. I really don't wanna lose now. We've, got, we've come so far. Come on, get it done. Get it, get it done. Let's go, let's go, easy dubs. Six point game, S seven point game. I think we're gonna make it. I think we're gonna make it. Let's go, let's go. All right, game seven for all the marbles. This is clutch, simulate with Simcast. Let's go, we've got, we got big minutes though. Oh no, don't, don't blow it. Come on, stay involved, stay tight, let's go. We're up, let's go. Come on, hold that lead. Come on, get it, get it, get it double figures, get it double figures. Oh, I'm nervous, man. Oh, oh wow, what happened? That is a great end to the third quarter. Come on, finish the job. Finish the job. It's not over yet. I think it's over. I think it's over. I think we've done it. Champions, let's go. Let's go. 67 wins and a championship. Luka Doncic finals MVP. 31 points per game, 11.4 rebounds and nine assists. Yeah, I'd call it a pretty good achievement for a 23 year old. Actually a 22 year old because everyone's a year older in this roster. Wow. Oh man, that video was even more fun than I expected. I knew that was going to be a good one. That turned out fantastic. And I was very dramatic down here and it got so exciting. I actually forgot to drink the end of this coffee and it's now probably very cold. So uh, actually let's test this live. See if it's as gross as I think it's going to be. Oh, there wasn't much there. That is honestly disgusting. Wow, I just did that live on camera. That is honestly gross. Wow. Anyway, uh, yeah, hope you enjoyed the video as much as I did. That was awesome. That was a lot of fun. Please like the video if you like the videos. It helps me a ton. Please subscribe if you're new. And until the next one, goodbye.